It has been around five years since scientists found armadillos living here in East Tennessee, and the animals are still spreading throughout the state. WBIR 10 News reporter Jim Matheny shows us armadillos are even knocking on the door of the Great Smoky Mountains. You know, they've spread tremendously. For more than a decade, Dr. Tim Gauden at UT Chattanooga has studied an armored invader. It's hit the road and moved into Tennessee. Very, very unusual. A critter that usually shows up as roadkill. So this is the nine-banded armadillo. They're not very bright. <laughs> um, pretty small brains. One of the most widespread mammals in the Western Hemisphere. They're the only mammals that have a shell. Right, this is bone here, but it's covered by these little scales that are made out of the same thing as your fingernails. Well, it's not hard like a turtle shell. The shell is flexible. Gauden's research proved armadillos have flexibility in terms of where they can call home. For a long time, the assumption had been if they moved into Tennessee, they'd steer clear of the high elevations with cold temperatures. But in 2013, Gauden and one of his students documented the first armadillos living high on Tennessee's plateau near Sewanee. What this bodes for the future is that armadillos will live in almost every part of Tennessee. Uh, so they seem to be spreading more quickly uh, than they have in the past. They're actually accelerating their rate of expansion. And in the last few years, armadillos have sporadically showed up in small numbers throughout the state. They've also surrounded the Smokies. This is the only specimen we have, armadillo skull. This particular one was a male that was hit by a car just before you come into the Smokies on the spur. Road killed armadillos all around the park. One was hit by a car on the spur just inside the Pigeon Forge city limits. Highway 129 near Deals Gap, 321 in Weirs Valley. This year we had one hit between Greenbrier and Cosby. Another one that was hit on Highway 74 between Cherokee and Silva. So all around us, but as of yet, we have not documented an armadillo within the park boundary. And if armadillos conjure up some scene of a dusty old road in Texas with tumbleweeds rolling through the desert, well, Gauden says that's actually not the case at all. You almost always find armadillos where you have lots of water, lots of bugs to eat, you know, lots of things you would find in the Smokies. They like water almost always found within half a mile or so of a body of water or less. We don't know what impact they might have on, on other species that are here, but we do know they're you know, primarily insectivores. And the insect density is great in the Smokies. There are attractions for them. So these things mostly eat beetles. They'll eat ants, they'll eat bees, they'll eat um, bird eggs, lizards, a whole host of things. Gauden says it's only a matter of time before armadillos are spotted inside the National Park and pretty much anywhere else in Tennessee. We've had records from Big South Fork. Somebody from Kentucky contacted me. The speed at which they're moving is, is the main thing. And although these invaders are conquering a wide area quickly, it's still a small force. Where they're moving into these areas, there aren't a lot of them. Their population levels are still pretty low. We know that they live in this area, but an armadillo is still an unusual sighting in Tennessee. As more people cross paths with an armadillo, or one of the holes they dig in your yard, Gauden says he'll keep studying and tracking their armored expedition on the road in Tennessee. You know, I think the main reason to care about them is they're just really interesting, unusual animals. In Chattanooga, Jim Matheny, WBIR 10 News. And the researchers you heard from do want your help tracking armadillos in East Tennessee. That's right. So if you see one dead or alive, he wants you to send a picture and the location. We have his contact information at WBIR.com. Up next.